Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish Plus video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Battlefield 1's new night map. And as you can see right now, I am in game and it looks wicked. I mean, what isn't wicked about playing a night map in Battlefield 1? It's It just looks superb, I must admit. As you can see, we've got bullets flying everywhere. We've got some lights in the distance over there, which looks pretty cool. We've got the moon up over there. And we are currently running 60 frames per second, which, I mean, I can't argue about that. That's good. That's what I like to see, 60 frames per second. The specs we are running today is a Intel Core i7 2600K, running at 3.4 gigahertz. It's not overclocked at all. It's running the default um, clock speed and boom, what a nice headshot that was. Anyway, and I've got a GTX 960, which has got four gigabytes of memory. And also I've got 16 gigabytes DDR3 Corsair Vengeance. I will go into the settings in a second and we will take a look at what my graphics settings are at the minute. Bearing in mind I've got them to suit my gameplay at the minute so I basically it makes it a lot easier when I'm playing and not recording. I like to be as fast as possible and be able to see as much as possible. Therefore I've turned a lot of the settings down. Basically it's almost like cheating. <laughs> it's so I can see people when they're in bushes but on my screen there's not actually a bush there i'm going to go ahead now and hit escape and go into the options and let's go into video and have a look let's go into advance as you can see textures on ultra texture filtering's on high lighting's on low effects on low post process qualities on medium mesh quality on ultra terrain quality low low off off I'm going to change that from custom and we're going to dive straight in with ultra and see how well our machine performs. As you can see right now there's not actually been that much of a decrease in frames per second. We're still getting a nice 52 frames per second. It's definitely not getting below that 50 frames per second anyway which is, which is what we'd like to see. That's nice. We're currently using 8 gig of memory we being pushed back. and we use about 50% of our process. As you can see, it's a really hot day today in the UK and our temperatures are still quite nice and low. Considering we really are using the power of the machine right now, we're really pushing it to the max running ultra settings. Let's just get in with a little bit of battle now and straight away as you can see our FPS has dropped to 45 frames per second right now, which is not good. You know, I don't really like to be running low frames per second like that. Let's just go. There he is. And there's a guy there. Okay, as you can see, now that I've died, we have jumped back to 55 frames per second again. But let's be fair, there's not a lot we're drawing right now. We've just got a fence in front of us with a couple of bullet holes in there. I'm going to go ahead now and go into options again and go to video. And we're just going to bump that down to high and see how well our machine performs now. Hopefully, we're getting a nice solid 60 frames per second. Let's just spawn and see what happens. As you can see, we are getting a nice solid 60 frames per second on high, which is great. That That is what you want when you're playing a game. I mean, some people don't mind 30 frames per second, but I like a nice solid 60 like them. As you can see, i got a headshot straight away with no problem, no lag delay in my cursor. Um, we've got a guy running here. And I tagged him, just didn't get him. Let's get that guy. No, I'm not getting him. Okay, don't know where he's gone. There he is. I spotted him. And I missed. Okay, and we're dead again. Anyway, as you can see right now, our 960 GTX has bumped up to 99% in use. We really are using our graphics card to the full. It's, you know, it really is trying to push all its performance out right now. But I mean, yeah, this game, um, 
It's a really good game pack for the one. It does require a good processor. Um, yeah, the, this map, I mean, good processor and playing this map is worth it. This map, it looks awesome. It really does look good.